Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back. It's Brandon again, and even though we're in my bedroom, this is going to be a cooking video. I think it's just because I've been dreaming about burgers recently. A lot of times people think we can't have them in our diet, but I've been seeing a ton of great videos, giving me a ton of great ideas, not to mention former Top Chef winner Richard Blaze actually just started a channel on the Tasted Network called Burger Lab, where they do all kinds of crazy stuff. It's really cool. Go ahead and take a look at this clip. Join us in the lab, where we're going to explore every possible thing you can do to the hamburger. We're gonna season, stuff, perfectly grill, griddle, baste, barbecue, fry, smoke, melt, layer, sauce, and bun. So dude definitely gets crazy in the kitchen. You know, next time I look at upgrading the Campbell Fitness equipment, instead of getting a better camera, microphone, lighting, I'm going straight for that blowtorch, baby. So as I said, that's Burger Lab on the Tasted Network. Go ahead and check it out. I'll throw an annotation on the screen in case you're interested. I like to sub to some of these channels just so I get ideas of other cooking videos. And speaking of that, the idea for this video was actually one put up by Michael Corey, or as you guys might know him, Lean Body Lifestyle. So he put up a jalapeno burger recently, which really got my mind going, saying, what can I do to top this? Only because him and I have had this friendly trolling going on in each other's channels. A lot of you guys have picked up on it. Just ongoing joke between us. So I thought I need to step my game up. So what did I do? I came out with some bison burgers. Because bison tastes good as hell. Mmm, bison. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not M. Bison. Mmm, bison as in it tastes good. Because it does. It's a great different take on meat if you don't want to do the standard, you know, turkey burgers, ground chicken, ground beef. Go for ground bison, it has some great numbers on it. So I'm gonna show you exactly what I did. Let's take a look at the clips. Okay, so first things first, you're just gonna take the meat and you're gonna put it in a bowl to mix. So once you go ahead and place the meat in the bowl, you're gonna start adding the other ingredients. So we have pepper, and then we're gonna be adding salt, onions, and a little bit of olive oil as well. I'm only using a teaspoon of olive oil, but with all these, you can really use your preference depending on taste. However, I wouldn't go overboard with the liquid, as otherwise it will make these very hard to make into patties. Once everything's in the bowl, you're gonna go ahead and mix these up. Go ahead and use your hands. Just make sure you wash them first. For this, you don't wanna over mix as we want these to be pretty tender. I have the scale here only because I wanna make five ounce burgers here since we're dealing with around 16 ounces. Make sure we get about three equal size burgers. You don't have to do this. This is just me being more specific. So once these are packed, we can go ahead and put these on our Foreman grill. I'm using tinfoil on mine because it makes it easier in order to clean, which we all know is a pain, and I have a video on this if you're interested. So while they're cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and prepare the buns. I'm choosing to put some spinach, as well as tomatoes on these. I couldn't decide which sauce I wanted, so I mixed it up since I'm having two. I used some spicy Southwest mustard, as well as some sweet baby raised barbecue sauce, really your choice, as well as if you wanna add cheese or not. The burgers are gonna take around 10 minutes to cook, depending on how well you like them. So this is a good time to kind of clean everything up and prepare the buns themselves. So when they're done cooking, just go ahead and open up the Foreman grill and you'll have your finished product. Again, because we're using the tin foil, it's gonna make these very easy to clean. We're just gonna go ahead and put the burgers on the buns themselves. I'll go ahead and show you the final product and the macros, but this is quick and easy. And again, it's a good way to kind of mix things up. So there you go, Bison Burgers by Brandon. Hope you like them, give them a shot, and if you do, do a video response. I always like to see when you guys make these things and hear constructive feedback, whether you like them or not. In the meantime, everybody, thanks for watching, and stay big.